Hello class, welcome to the Minute Math YouTube channel. Please hit the subscribe button below and share our videos. You can also find great math content and links to all of our videos at www.minutemathtutor.com. All right now, enjoy the lesson. Hi, I'm Sean Gannon and this is Minute Math and today we're going to learn about add and subtracting fractions of mixed numbers and evaluate each expression. So, if I was given these numbers, 1 and 2 fifths minus a negative 3 and 3 fourths, okay? Well, one thing I like to do here is I break this down, this uh, mixed fraction, to be a whole number and a proper fraction. So, 1 plus 2 fifths here. Now, the subtracting a negative is the same thing as adding a positive, so we have plus 3 plus 3 fourths, okay? And now we're at our whole numbers and fractions. 1 plus 3 is 4, but then 2 fifths and 3 fourths I'm going to do over here. It takes a little more work. 2 fifths plus 3 fourths fourths. Alright, so now, hmm, they don't have the same base. So what I can do is take this base, 5, and multiply the second number by 5 over 5, and then this 4, multiply the first number by 4 over 4. This will always ensure we have the same base, same denominator. Alright, 4 times 2 is 8, and 4 times 5 is 20. 3 times 5 is 15, and 4 times 5, again, is 20. Again, we got the same base. That's what we want. Now, since we had the same denominator, we add the numerator. Uh, 8 plus 15 and comes out to be, what is it, 23? Right? Yeah, 23. So there's 23 here over 20. Okay? Keep the denominator same. Now, since this is an uh, improper fraction, I'll break it to a mixed fraction there. Or and break it up to be two parts. 20 goes in 23 one time, with 3 left over, so 3 over 20 is, excuse me, what's left. Now, I'm going to bring that over here. I have plus 1, plus 3 over 20, okay? And so, we add our whole numbers. 4 plus 1 is a 5, and we have 3 over 20 right there. Okay? Now, we can combine these two together to get our final answer, just one uh, mixed fraction. 5 and 3 over 20. So a quick recap. We're given these two fractions, uh, 1 and 2 fifths minus a negative 3 and 3 fourths. And we have to simplify that or evaluate that. Subtracting a negative is adding a positive. Then I broke these down, each one, to be a whole number and a proper fraction. I then added the whole numbers and added the fractions and broke those down accordingly. Um, when I got down here, I broke it down to be a whole number and a fraction as well. Brought that over, added the whole numbers, and then I combine the whole number and the fraction, 5 and 3 over 20, to be one number, our final answer, 5 and 3 over 20. Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, the creator of Minute Math. And if you like this video, please hit the like button that's right there. If you have a mathematical question, just add it to the comment section below. And lastly, if you want to see more videos just like this one, hit subscribe. It's right there. But as always, thanks for watching.